Hello, this is just a quick screencast to show you some of the functionality we've been working on for the next beta release of BCS Metaman, just to give you a taster and hopefully get you excited and uh, provide us any feedback if you've got any. So the scenario we're working with here is we've done a quick proof of concept with um, some SQL Server data. Um, we've connected our external content types up using SharePoint Designer and showed it to our boss. But what we want to do now is we want to take it a step further and do some custom functionality around the, uh, the right back methods to perhaps add some validation in or something like that. So we need to now create this as a Visual Studio project where we can write as much C-sharp code as we want. Uh, so rather than starting from scratch and creating a whole BCS model and code again, what we're going to do is use BCS Metaman to be able to upscale this to a BCS Metaman project. So we'll select these two external content types from our from SharePoint Designer. And I'll say this is SPD test. And we're just going to export the BCS model as an XML file. Okay, so that's done. So what I'm going to do now is go over to Visual Studio, and this is a blank SharePoint 2010 Visual Studio project. And we just want to go in and add a new item. And we're going to go and add a new BCS Metaman project item. Awesome. So once that has loaded up and the menu comes up, it'll just take a couple of seconds on my virtual machine. Here we go. We can go BCS Metaman. You'll see we can actually import a BDC 2007 XML file, but with this demo we're going to import a SharePoint Designer generated XML file. And we'll just browse to where our um, SPD test was and open it. Now what this is going to do is it's going to look at the XML that was exported from SharePoint Designer and go and first of all recreate the BCS model but also more importantly it's going to generate what was a simple select statement within our SharePoint Designer BCS model now as C Sharp code using link to SQL and getting the data and, uh, and pushing it through to the BCS. So you can see here it's also it's created our two entities, it's created the association we have between these two entities and if we just go and look at say the employee service class you can see here it's generated all the methods for us, including the uh, the update statement as well. So this is where we could do our custom logic, perhaps add our business rules in for the update statement. And now all we have to do is make our changes, press uh, F5 and it will package it up as a WSP and deploy it to SharePoint for us and we can uh, be off and running. So it's a very easy way to upscale your, your SharePoint designer BCS models to Visual Studio 2010 models and uh, be able to deploy them to SharePoint and get working. So Love to hear your feedback. Just drop us an email at support at lightningtools.com and uh, thanks for watching.